What's goody? What's goody, big buddy? Uh, everybody know who we be, man. You know, man. Sash A Swag, Mr. H Block himself, baby. That's you know we do. That's a fact. Sure. Yo, you are one of the most creative people I ever met. You had this idea that you put into motion called Block to the Booth. Let people know what that is about. All right. So from the block to the booth, basically, it's me and my partner, mm -hmm. Umazi. So basically, we're doing like a mobile luxury studio service. This mm -hmm. would be like, you see how you book an Uber mm -hmm. and you get a tag to come to you? Same situation with a studio. Now, the studio is an events rental. You got to hood up, set it up. I'm talking A1 quality. No more being late for sessions. No more traffic. No more engineers being late. All on your time gives you complete control, the convenience to do, and I mean, bring whoever you want to record with. We can go pick someone up in the middle of a session in case you needed a verse from them or something. And then we got the website, blocktothebooth.com, you know, where we also advertise the artists and promote the artists. We start on the web series from the Block to the Booth, you know, mm -hmm. round up. So, yeah, man, it's just a lot in the works, but I feel like everything has evolved. If you notice, people are getting, they want everything brought to them, you know, and especially if you were musician you want to be a star so this is kind of like you know the icebreaker for that type of treatment you know it's on right. your time studio there to you a1 quality we work for you baby and we make it work right. man it's, now we've been having like the zoning situation so anywhere you want to go in your neighborhood as long as the block is not too narrow mm -hmm. or if you have a location we can park a parking lot anywhere and yeah you go by your, your local park or something mm -hmm. and put something on facebook like oh the first few fans to tweet this, I'll give you the location and come do a session with me live. You know, we create a more intimate experience, make it possible mm -hmm. for the, you know I mean, the artist and the fan to actually sit there and be together and, you know, you get an inside look. Right, right, of course, of course. Yeah, hey. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That 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 was, like, a great idea, though. Like, right. no, like you know, I got to give props with props. Yeah. That's, like, you know what I'm saying? Real original. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like me, my partner, like I said, Mazi, man. We came up with this, just tell shit. I, I really first was trying to do it because I was locked up, right? And I'm right. like, damn. Well, when you come home, you got to be on some different type of timing. Right. And then I, you know, I'm picking up them books and they ain't got nothing to do. I'm spending y'all, I'm not mm -hmm. And I'm like, all right, hold on. I love music. Everything I want to do is, it, it pertains to music, you feel me? Mm -hmm. And then I'm like, all right, what problems do I face as an artist usually? As males, you know, bro. <laughs> mm -hmm. niggas is always late. Niggas is always, oh. The studio is over here, some, and people don't feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. And then you gotta jeopardize your situation just to go record, you know? Right. When I feel like, you know, it's unnecessary. Let's let's make you comfortable because you gotta be comfortable as an artist to do it. Mm -hmm. So, and that's where it just came about putting the pieces together. Right. Shout out to Five. It's a program called The Five. But like, ain't they like, ain't a lot. You know, they in a couple situations, in a couple jails and shit. But they really do help, man. I see. So wait, wait. Before you get too fast into that, what, what you said the program called? What? The five. And when you um you was up north or whatever. Nah, nah. They they came to the rock this time. Oh, he was on the island. He was on the island. Okay, okay. So they came there and like boom, I was in high class. I was trying to find a way. Like yo, I gotta sign up for everything. I gotta get out of this little movie shit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So boom, doing that and they picked me up because I had wrote something for them. Mm -hmm. Like a little yo, I'm trying to be an entrepreneur. Young, I'm from this background. And what they do is they like, yo, they take people that like, oh, yo, you got the hustler spirit. Like, you do what you do, you just in the wrong. You the same as these white collar motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. You just on the other side of the track. Right. If you could make all this money illegally, imagine if we gave you, you feel me, like the fundamentals and the education needed to actually legitimize mm -hmm. and turn it into something lucrative. With your ambition, boom. So that's what they do. They, they kind of just steal you. Take your hustle, that same drive you got, mm -hmm. but we help you steer it in the right direction. Right, wow. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So shout out to them, definitely. So, so Dan, so really one of them programs in the pen did pay off. Like, because a lot right. of times people say them shit don't pay, but you were, live, you know, you were a living example of a program paying Facts, off. Facts, you know. You know what I'm saying? They're like, shit, it's this all what you take from it, you know? True. People look at situations on and be like, fuck it. They doubt it or dub it before they even gave it a try. Mm -hmm. Niggas look at the book cover and that shit'll be some, some ugly or nigga face and be like, yo, fuck that whole book. Mm -hmm. Open it up, man. Give it a try. So besides uh, the block to the booth where you came up with this great idea, you also rap too, right? Yeah, man, Sensei Swag, bro. Okay, that's what, what they got to type in, Sensei Swag. Sensei Swag, man. S-E-N-S-E-I-S-W-A, -E 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 two times the G, baby. That right. shit. <laughs> and then... You got, so you got um you got music that you dropped and released already. Definitely. I got a lot of unreleased stuff. See, I'm, I'm working on a project right now, man. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the dojo. 
and then me and one of my like me and What's my the son. name of it? Welcome to the Dojo. Oh, you feel right, me? right, Chaz right. Right. right here. Right. So that's that's gonna be dropping 2019, early 2019. I say around February, mm-hmm. but I'm still pulling a couple things together with that. Mm-hmm. But yeah, the music, you know, I've been doing this shit a long time. Right. That H Block thing. Hey man, I don't know, man. Oh, like we've been here for a while. Right, right. So we've been, you know, we've been going through this for a while. It's just I say over the last since like 2013, 14, social media and everything like really blew to another level. Right. So when we was doing it, I remember we did Birdie Flock. I don't know, you remember that Birdie Flock shit? That's mm-hmm. like 2013, 2014. Niggas got 20,000 views. I was ecstatic. I felt like a superstar. Mm-hmm. I said, yeah, what? Go see this. Uh huh. We started mm-hmm. with. And then, you know, GS9 came out. They dropped that hot one. Mm-hmm. That shit, I said, whoa. I looked at 20 bands. I see this nigga throwing his hat and shit disappearing. And he get views. Niggas making memes. I'm like, shit, bro. I should have made a dance. I should have right. threw my hat a little harder. <laughs> right, shit. Right. But yeah, you know, no, no shade. No. But mm-hmm. yeah. But after that, it kind of like that, that opened my eyes to like, yo, this YouTube shit, this social media shit, the memes and all that. Mm-hmm. That's really the that's the next generation as far as I guess free enterprise or like advertising. Right. You don't need a big machine behind you no more. Right. So yeah, that was I was like, oh damn, these niggas is right there. You know, I don't talk too much, but right, right. yeah, they right there, they getting on. Mm-hmm. And they getting on too, and they, they know fuck them, fuck them, all that shit. Right. But yeah, so shit, it's just been a long time, and then I had a couple setbacks, you know. Right. Ah, uh, jail is a fucked up situation. Right. God bless it. Yo, so, all right, so, oh, damn, you was in the pen. How long you did? First time, oh, uh, first time I was there, I was a dupe now, the first, first, first time. I think I'm gonna get locked up to like 12, bro. Right. But yeah, did the whole Horizons thing, then I, the Crossroads with Prejudice, then they sent me upstate. Mm-hmm. Ended up doing 18 months, chose to try on and shit. I was young, then came home. I had a lot of Rikers on the state, you know. But yeah. thank God, I got support. I always been hustling, so. Always had loyalty. Speaking on how times change, do you think like right now, um, with all the the ways to get on and all that by yourself, do you think it's better to have a say like a big brand behind you or you just do it independent? Oh wow. Because we both independent entrepreneurs exactly. right here. So what do you think? You know what now, I mean? That's a hard question. Okay. Now I, I want to break down independence, mm-hmm. right, for people. Because being independent don't mean being the one and only all the time. Because at the end of the day, you need networks, you need resources, you need a team around you. Mm-hmm. You feel me? You can't be the accountant. You can't be, I mean, this and that. You can't be everything. Right. But you don't need to fall under somebody else with somebody else already built to try to put yourself out there. Mm-hmm. Like we said, there's so many outlets and there's people think of, like Mel's TV that's going around, that's actually helping up and coming artists mm-hmm. and whatever you're doing. You feel me? YouTube personality. Right. You, feel, you feel me? You know, right. you're fucking with a lot of shit. Right. So, we got a lot more help nowadays than artists back in the days where I remember I used to sit there and be going downtown and there'd be like 20 niggas by McDonald's all trying to sell a different CD, you right. know? And you had to get there face to face to get it out there. And then you had to hope the right person heard it that was going to the right club. Now, eh, I do the right dance in a YouTube video, bro. My song, <laughs> <laughs> you know? Shit, so right. it's a lot easier. But yeah, as, like back to what you were saying, you don't need it. It's just how dedicated are you? How much do you want it? Mm-hmm. Because it's a lot easier when you do got a big brand. Right. It's a lot less work, but you hey, less work, it's less you get on your plate. So you, you know what I mean? You put the time in and you really dedicated. Like you got to want it. Like I was watching that shit where the nigga was like, yo, come out to the ocean. You got to want it like you want that breath of fresh air, bro. Mm-hmm. And you're going to make it. You're going to get it. And right. independent... It feels so much better. Mm-hmm. Cause it's like, nigga, I don't owe you shit. Right. I mean, I did it myself. I, I struggled, I stalled, and now I'm eating. Right. <laughs> That's a fact. Shit. Yo, um, before we cut out, let everybody know about the block to the booth prices. How much are you charging to pull up to niggas to hoodie than you? So right right now, we doing literally I think it's sixty dollars an hour. Mm-hmm. Right? But now we gotta go on the website because it's certain days. Of the week, so okay. if you go on the website, you'll see the schedule there. It's not every day right now. Cause what's I'm the website again? Blocktothebooth.com. Okay, okay. Right, and we have it up there, and then we also, if you want to be a, like a part of the web series, where we're just basically going around and showing artists in their natural element and natural, like the essence of their artists, mm-hmm. and getting it and we put it out there. If you want to be a part of that, you can hit us up, and then we can talk about free sessions. 
right. now there is other stuff with that. Right. But starting rate, sixty dollars an hour, two hour minimum. Okay. Okay. And how can they reach you if they fucking with it and they want to do it? Um, it's blocktothebooth.com. You can reach out to you can reach out to me on Facebook. You feel me, Tyrell Carter on Facebook. You know, Swag Marley. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Only drug nigga out there, but or my partner Sophie Umazi. Mm-hmm. You know me, Simba um, Simba. You got you got another one too. Mm-hmm. Um, we got the Block to the Booth page on Facebook. Block to the Booth from the Block to the Booth on Instagram at from the Block to the Booth. Um, email Block to the Booth at Gmail. No, contact at Block to the Booth dot com. 